piece of I didn't know you were dirty like that. That is that You knew what the fuck you was doing. You're a piece of and you, Yeah. Yeah, you're a piece of Coming from you, dude. Yeah. What's up? Uh, you know, turning it up. So you got Scott Taylor. I got him. I just raced him. Yep. I didn't get to see it. Here's what I learned, though. It was a terrible pass, and I still almost caught him. So what I'm getting at is, don't trip over yourself. I'm pretty sure you can outrun him. OK. Get him on the light, and I don't think you have anything to worry about. OK. And that'll solidify your spot, keep another yep. New Orleans guy Get away. Get behind us, yeah. Third round, I drew Scott Taylor. I've been struggling all day to build boost. If I could spool up before I bump into the beams, I will have enough horsepower to outrun Scott Taylor. So here's the deal. A lot of the other people that he's raised and other racers that came to me and said, it's not really fair because when they turn on a bulb, he turns on two instantly. Why let him do that every single time right. when it's his problem? So I think I'm just going to let him stage first, and then I'll bump in. You know how me and you always talk about we're too nice and it screws us? Now that's one of the times you're going to screw hey, yourself. Hey, he's you been three do. different people already come to me and said, don't give in to what he's asking for. He's yeah. going to ask to let him spool up and stage. Yeah. Here in Colorado, Jeff Lutz has been waiting on his opponent to light the first bulb, and then he's just going in on them both bulbs at one time. That's the same thing Ryan did to me, and it's not going to happen again. It gives them time to spool up, but it rushes their opponent. With Jeff lighting both bulbs at once, that definitely puts us at a huge disadvantage. When I go in, I have to mash the trans brake button, I have to put the gas pedal on the floor, and all that time has to happen before the light comes on. It's just not enough time, and I'm not going to be rushed. The gamblers are all gambling on Scott Taylor down here on the line. Jeff Lutz is not going to go in first. Scott Taylor will not go in first. We might be here for a while. Who's going to go in first and light the combo? As you know, Jeff Lutz has a hard time spooling. He wants Scott Taylor to go in. Let's go! Let's go! Soon you're a piece of and you, yeah. yeah, you're a piece of coming from you, dude. Yeah. Hey, that how God. should you get to stay double above everybody every time? Yeah, I got you, buddy. If you needed that win like that, you got it, you idiot. I thought you were way cooler than that. What did I do? You know what, what did you I do? Did. You know what, what you did. What did I do? Tell me what I did you wrong. You know what you did. What did I do wrong? It's all right, brother. The whole world will see what you did. Did I stage like a normal racer? I got you, buddy. You sure did? Well, no, yep. you didn't get me. You go yourself. All the racers have been given courtesy because we're on the, you know, we're mile high here. The altitude sucks. And Axeman's a perfect example. He's a man. He waited till Chief spooled up, put it in, ready to go. Not Scott Taylor. He's from the dirty south. They call it that for a reason, apparently. That's how he is. He did me dirty. I'm not the type of guy to call somebody a piece of I've never done that before. That man right there ruined it for me. But you know what? Karma will get him. And turn the first bulb on. So I wouldn't turn it on either. So he sat there. Well, then he double bulbed me. 
And I said, no, he's got to come back out. Hey, it's racing. That's normal. Well, when I run Lutz, I didn't want to go in, turn the first bulb on, because I knew what he'd been doing all day. He'd been just running in and turning two bulbs on at once, and that's not really courtesy staging. So I sat there for just a second, and then he double bulbed me. That's not allowed. So I just backed him out. So then I turned on one bulb, he turned on the next bulb. I turned on the next bulb, and he turned on the next bulb, and it's a race then. We raced, it was fair and square, and I won. But some people don't see it that way. Yeah, talk about how you cheated. How'd I cheat? How'd I cheat? You can't double bump anybody, it's part of the rules. Yes, everybody needs to read them. I definitely take pride on being a fair racer. Double bulbing is not allowed. I wish the fans could understand he double bulbed me, so he's the only one that done any wrong. Everybody here besides him has changed their spray so they can spool. Everybody's fighting to spool. And uh, I get it. Jeff's the type of guy that he knows that the rules. Jeff cannot be mad about that. Outcome. Oh, he's, he's furious. I mean, he can't be. Tried to spool before Scott even lit the first ball. Yeah. But, well, they sit there forever. So they sit there in a staging duel, right? Yeah. So Jeff just got tired of waiting and said, OK, well, I'll go in. But where Jeff, the only thing Jeff up is, he should have stopped at the pre-stage. Yeah. So if he stopped at the pre-stage, then Scott Taylor would have went in, still hung him out. But Jeff could have went in with no big deal. He didn't have to go in, though. He didn't have to go in, right. but he probably would have. I would have sat there forever until he had lit, at least lit one ball. Yeah. Say good luck to you. I love you, BC. I love you, too. You try to win some money to fix your motor? Yeah. Well, hopefully, yeah, Mom. I don't know. There were three NOLA drivers left heading into this round, and luckily, none of us drew each other. After knocking out Lizzie in the last round, we can't afford any more team-on-team -team action. I've had the nitrous advantage all day, but in round three, I drew B-Rad. He's got a badass nitrous car, so this should be a good race. Nola's got a good chance to win up here in Colorado. This air is not good for any type of motor, but the thing with a nitrous motor, you can create your own atmosphere inside the motor as long as you don't blow it up. I feel like if Old Shocker just hangs in there, I'll pull the win out.